Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to understand what is on submit client script and why on submit client script is used. And we are going to see the demo of on submit client script. In the demo part of the video, we are also going to understand an important topic of service now. Okay, so let's start the video with what is on submit client script. On submit client script is also one of the type of client script just like on load client script but it executes when the form is submitted saved or updated by the user it is the last time a client script will execute before the data of the form gets saved into the database what does it means is that on the screen you can see two forms one is incident new record and the other one is incident record which is already created okay so on the new record if the user submit the form then after that the client script will run okay before all the data which has been filled by the user on the form gets submitted into the database of the incident table and in already created incident record if the user update or save the incident record then the client script on submit will run before it make the changes to the previous data of this particular incident record so that's where the on submit client script will execute and it is the last time a client script will run before the data gets saved into the database next why on submit client script is used on submit client script is used to check the data entered on form by user whether the data is correct or not if the data is not correct then with the help of on submit client script we can alert the user to fill out the correct details in the form we can also use on submit client script to get the confirmation from user before making changes to the database because once user submit save or update the record it will make changes to the database so we have to get the confirmation from the user that are you sure you want to submit this record or save this record or update the record because after that you know that this is the last time a client script will run before the data is changes into the database now we are going to see the demo of on submit client script and we are also going to understand a very important topic of service now for our requirement what we are going to do is that we are going to get the confirmation from the user before they submit the priority one incident record or one critical incident record why we are getting the confirmation from the user because it can be happen that the incident which the user is raising for that there is already a knowledge article provided in which the steps to resolve that particular incident is given so there is no need of creating a incident as a priority one incident in general example suppose you forgot a password of your account so the website or the applications provide you the steps already how you can recover your password so you can see their documents and follow those steps okay there is no need of contacting the support team of that application or the website or to raise a concern about that and mail them about this particular concern because they had already provided the steps to follow before you reach the support team of that particular application or website similarly this is the case with incident also because incident is the application in service now so if the user is raising the incident of forgetting the password for which service now has already provided a documentation of it that you can follow these steps to recover your password so there is no need of creating the incident of priority one and that's why we have to get the confirmation from the user before they submit the priority one incident you will get more clarification once we start the demo so let's start the demo of on submit client script on the screen you can see that we had opened the incident form and now we are going to create a on submit client script to get the confirmation from the user before they submit the priority one incident or one critical incident before we make a on submit client script we have to discuss a very important topic of service now that is best practice so what is best practice means best practice means what is the best approach to develop a particular requirement 
So in our case, we have to get a confirmation from the user before they submit the priority one or one critical incident. So we have to see whether the functionality that we are going to develop is already available in the service now or it comes out of the box. Out of the box means the functionality is already existing. Maybe it can be inactive or we don't know about it. So we can ask our colleagues to tell us because it can be the case that you are very new to service now and you don't know about certain things. So it's better to talk to some colleagues and they can help you on developing the particular requirement. On our channel, we have one video of like announcement in service portal and guided tool in service portal. It can be the case that a new developer of the portal doesn't know about these functionality which has been given out of the box by service now. So it can happen, but it's all about finding the things, doing the research and development work while you are developing a requirement. So in our case, let's see how many client scripts we have. So if we click on additional actions, go to configure and client scripts. We can see the client scripts available for incident table and task table. Now we have to so matching with on submit client script. So we are going to scroll until we see the on submit type. Now we are going to right click and so matching. And we can see that there are four client scripts that are available. What was our scenario was that we have to get the confirmation from the user before they submit the priority one incident or one critical incident. So you can see that here it says sample one on priority one. So this particular client script can be useful to us. If we open this client script, it's loading. Now our client script is loaded and you can see that in the script it is getting the priority value and it is checking the condition of it whether it is one critical and it is getting the confirmation from the user before they submit the record. If the confirmation is yes then it's okay. The further process will start and incident will get submitted and if it is false then there will be no submission of that particular incident. So we can use this client script for our purpose. So we can see that we have a table incident UI type. If you want to change it according to your requirement, you can change it. We have discussed what is UI type in on load client script video. And there is a message also submit a priority one ticket. And right now this particular client script is inactive. As you can see active checkbox is not checked. So we are going to make it active and we are going to save this so that we stay on the same page. Now if we go back to the new incident record we are going to quickly fill up the mandatory fields. Okay. And sort description, email, password. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is a bonus point that as soon as we type email password, if we scroll down, there are results like password reset, new email account, password reset enrollment, change password, what are phishing scams, and how can so these are the articles which are coming up with the help of the words that we have typed in sort description. So before submitting an incident, ServiceNow is providing these articles so that the user can use these articles and can resolve their issues on their own. There is no need of submitting the incident if user can resolve their issues using these articles. And that's what we have talked about when we were explaining the requirement for on submit demo. Okay. And this is called incident deflection. We are going to talk about incident deflection in another video.
okay now we are going to fill up the mandatory fields channel chat okay assignment group will be incident management assigned to will be incident manager okay email password forget now if the user issue is not solved from these articles also then the user can raise the incident and can set up the impact and urgency to one high so that the priority will be one critical now if we submit this incident now you can see that there is a confirmation message dialog box appears which is coming from this particular on submit client script so if we go back and click on submit again now you can see that on submit client script is running now if we cancel it we will stay on the same form nothing will happen and incident will not get submitted in the database and if we click ok then it means we are getting the confirmation that the user wants to submit this particular incident of one critical or priority one incident and it has to be saved in the database so if we click ok then you are going to see that this incident is saved now if we go back and open the incident lists all we can see our incident is being saved in the database and this message is coming from onload client script that we have created in another video so we are going to close this message all right so that's how you can write the on submit client script and develop your requirements but our requirement is not completed yet why because we have already told that on submit client script will run when the user will perform the operations like submit the form update the form or save the form right now we have opened the incident which has been already in the database now if we try to update this incident what will happen is that the on submit client script is going to run so this particular client script is going to run so if we update something like chat channel will be email okay and if we save or update it we are going to save it so that we remain on the same page click on additional actions save now you can see that our on submit client scripts runs again and that's not what we want okay why because our requirement was that when the user is submitting the priority one or one critical incident then we have to get the confirmation from the user but this incident is already in the database so this is not a new incident okay so we have to change our client script a bit but we are not going to change or make modification in this client script why because this particular client script is out of the box which is provided by service now so it is the best practice not to change the base functionality of an application instead make a new one and disable the base functionality how so what we are going to do is that we are going to go back and firstly what we have to do is that uh, we are going to copy this because we require this particular code and make this client script inactive okay and if we go back and click on additional actions and configure client scripts now we are going to create a new client script click on new button we are going to give the name get confirmation for priority 
one incident okay table will be incident you are type you can select all so that it will work on mobile and service portal also and we are going to give the type type will be on submit if you want to give the description you can give the description now in the script field we are going to paste the code that we have copied from the previous client script so we are going to copy it and we are going to change a bit so what we are going to do is that there is an error remove this what we want is that when the user submit an instant of priority one or critical one then we have to get the confirmation message we don't have to get the confirmation message when the incident is in the database and the user is updating the incident so for that we have to insert one line of condition check that if g underscore form dot is new record now this particular condition is going to check whether the record is new or not okay now we are going to wrap all the code that already presented here cut and paste it here and format it remove the white lines format again now we are going to save this client script now this is our new client script we did not modify the out of the box client script because it is the best practice not to modify the base components that comes with the any application okay instead make a new one and inactive the base component so we have inactivated it and if we see we are going to test our script so if we go back to our incident which has been in the database and if we try to update this change the channel to chat again and try to save it or update it hmm. why this is happening because this form is being already opened before we created this particular client script or make this particular client script inactive so we have to always refresh the page when we create a new client script so this is one more point to remember whenever we create a client script and if we are testing the functionality always refresh the page okay close the message and if we change the channel to email okay and if we try to update or save the incident so we are going to save it so that we stay on the same page and we will not get that confirmation dialog box now so if we try to save it now you can see that our incident is saved and there was no confirmation dialog box appears why because we have put this condition it checks whether the record is new or not now we have completed the development for our requirement and the confirmation message will not appear on the incident of priority one or one critical that has been already in the database means if the user is updating or saving the incident which are in the database and that are of priority one or critical one the confirmation dialog box will not appear it will appear only for those incidents which are new and the user is submitting the new incident of priority one or one critical and that's how we can create the on submit client script for a table and we have also seen that how we can follow the best approach of the best practice while we are developing the requirements in service now so if you like this video do share the videos with others subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching this video bye bye